Welcome, I'm Raul Lowry Contreras, and this is the June 17th issue of the Contreras Report, American Politics Edition. Today we talk about SCOTUS, the Supreme Court of the United States. This morning, it announced two momentous decisions. They shocked many people. First, it sided with Catholic Charities against the city of Philadelphia that had ruled it could not work with Catholic Charities in its adoptive children agency because Catholic Charities refused to work with same-sex couples in adoptions of children. Catholic Charities sued the city because the city was infringing on its freedom of religion and religious practices. The vote, surprisingly, was a unanimous 9-0. Even the three liberals voted against the city of Philadelphia. Amazing! The second decision that was released within minutes of the Catholic Charities decision was in the California versus Texas case on whether or not Obamacare is constitutional. Texas and over a dozen other red, that is Republican states, sued taking the position that because Congress had made certain changes in Obamacare a few years ago, the program was unconstitutional. By a surprising 7-2 to two vote, the court ruled that Texas and the other states that had no, and the other states that sued, had no standing to sue because they hadn't been injured economically or legally. Obamacare has now survived three different Supreme Court court cases and decisions. I personally don't care for Obamacare, but I'm on Medicare because of my age and using it through a private provider keeps me happy. For those who need Obamacare, I'm happy for them because one single ingredient, existing conditions, makes it worthwhile in my opinion. Now, if Congress can get its act together and allow providers to negotiate pricing of medicines, we will all save some money, lots of money. When you multiply it by 300 million plus people, if you save a penny of medicine, a penny per prescription, you save hundreds of millions of dollars in the long run. We'll change course now and look at one more Trump leftover cold dish. Let's discuss the chutzpah of former President Trump's close aide, friend, and campaign manager of the 2016 campaign, Steve Bannon. He is asking the Department of Justice to reimburse him for legal fees spent during the Mueller investigation of President Trump that resulted in his being impeached, and legal fees Bannon accumulated when called before congressional committees to testify on various aspects of his time with the Trump administration. His lawyer says he spoke with the Department of Justice before Trump left the White House and that he was told, he, Bannon, was told the million dollars that he spent on legal fees would be reimbursed. Besides those fees, he also incurred legal fees when he was indicted for stealing money from a fundraising scheme to raise money to build a privately paid for wall on the New Mexico border with Mexico. It was for those charges that President Trump pardoned Bannon before the trial. In case you don't know what chutzpah means, C-H-U-T-Z-P-A-H, it's Hebrew, and it means audacity, audacious. Steve Bannon is audacious. He is shameless and impudent, as well as insulting the American people by asking to have his legal fees reimbursed. How shameless can it be? In Spanish, we say, sin vergüenza. He is, in a word, classless. Joining Bannon, joining Bannon are 21 Republican congressmen that we shall call Congress people, that we shall call classless, who should all be thrown out of Congress for being total classless idiots. Yes, total classless idiots. They voted no to award gold medals for bravery 
to police officers in Washington, D.C., of the Capitol Police and the Metropolitan Police, who fought to protest the Capitol building from a raging mob of insurrectionist Trump followers. One of the reasons given by these people that voted no to award gold medals to police officers is that they objected to the word, quote, insurrection, unquote. One said, the January 6th people looked like a normal tourist crowd. These 21 plus 14 more for a total of 35 who voted last month no on a bill to appoint a bipartisan commission to investigate what happened on January 6th at the Capitol building in which four people died and over 100 police officers who were injured by attacking mob. These people voted no to award gold medals to the police officers. The vote on the gold medals was 406 yes to 21 no. These are the same people who voted to not recognize Joe Biden's electoral college vote of 306 votes that elected him president. They should all be thrown out of office, every single one of them, in the next election. Actually, they should be thrown out by the 406 members of Congress who voted for, for the, the gold medals. Yes, they can, if somebody offers a resolution to expel those 21 members for cause, the 406 could do it if they wanted to. This is Raul Lowry Contreras. Subscribe to this channel and you will be updated whenever there is a new episode of the Contreras Report posted. You can also send me an email with your questions and I promise to respond. The email address will appear on the screen in a few seconds. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.